Regulation EC1-2005 is the law for animals on transport and is currently under revision. We would like to draw attention to one major aspect for improvement, the loading density. The rules covering density are inadequate and vague. They leave legal loopholes that allow animal transports to be too overcrowded for the necessary rest, watering and thermoregulation. With regards to cattle, there are several unresolved questions. Should bovines of 325 and 500 kilograms have 0.95 or 1.3 square meters of space? And should they have the same space? For cattle of intermediate weight, there's no clear law. In practice, the individual animal's weight is rarely measured. Furthermore, the needs for space vary, depending on the race. A Holstein heifer has a very different body shape than a Charolais. This needs to be considered. The same applies for sheep. Those unshorn, weighing 26 or 55 kilograms, can have 0.3 or 0.4 square meters. When 0.3 and when 0.4, the law must be more accurate. Regarding lambs up to 26 kilograms, the law is even more imprecise. The only regulation is that they need less than 0.2 square meters. So, in theory, it is legal to stack an infinite number of lambs weighing less than 26 kilograms on 0.000001 square meters. There's no limit defined. Investigations by Animals Angels show that companies and veterinarians apply the smallest space allowed for cattle and sheep. Regarding pigs, the law is enigmatic and difficult to understand. For pigs of 100 kilograms, the minimum space is 235 kilograms per square meter. How do we imagine two pigs and a half to share one square meter? And what space do pigs of different weights need? The regulation states that figures of the minimum space may vary, depending on weather and journey time, without stating precisely how much. Due to this lack of measures, the authorities do not increase the minimum space for a heat to avoid complaints. Horses are also affected by inappropriate figures. Should a slender-built Arabian horse have the same amount of space as a sturdy Frisian horse? During long journeys, it is essential that young horses have enough space to lie down. When journeys take more than 48 hours, they must have double the space to get up properly. Unfortunately, these regulations are consistently being ignored. The flaws of regulation EC1-2005 result in immense suffering of the animals. Transports are overcrowded on a regular basis. There's insufficient space to lie down and rest. Those who do risk getting trapped under the others or the partitions. They can't reach the drinkers or perform thermoregulation. The footage we are presenting here is from transports, the documents of which apparently fulfill the requirements of the law. This needs to be changed. The European Food Safety Authority, EFSA, stated that space is the first factor limiting essential biological functions during transport. They recommend new allometric equations relating space to life weight. Furthermore, additional scientific research is needed for areas where EFSA is not yet able to provide precise measures, guaranteeing a minimum welfare for animals on transport. The European Commission has requested the scientific evaluation of EFSA. The Commission should therefore revise Regulation EC1-2005 according to the conclusions of science.